Are you a professional? <laughs> Are you? That's it, Clark. Sure moves, boss. Oh, we're all in this together! Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to the Clark Griswold YouTube channel. I am Mr. Clark Griswold. I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend, a wonderful long weekend if you're in the U.S. Happy Memorial Day to you guys. We are back here for another episode, another show on the Clark Griswold YouTube channel. If you haven't done so below, you can click that subscribe button down below, hit that bell, that bell will give you the notifications for when I send out videos just like this one. Okay, this is our one-week swing setups for uh, Tuesday, May 31st. It is a short week. I also send out top five uh, watch lists every day. I send out main watch lists every day. I send out the weekly swings like we're doing here today. I send out monthly swings. I send out motivational videos, learning tools, informational videos. I've got a bunch of different learning tools for you guys. I've got a learning tool playlist. Um, I've got a video on what these candlestick numbers mean, entries and exits, broadening formations, like you can see these blo dotted blue lines here, uh, Sarah Strat Sniper's 50% rule, uh, trade reviews, how to trade double inside bars, outside bars, inside bars, 3-1 setups. Okay, I've got all kinds of videos for you guys. You can also follow me on Twitter at Mr. Clark Griswold. Follow me there. You can ask me questions there, DM me there, comment there. I usually get back to you guys within that same day, so feel free to ask me whatever you need. There's no dumb questions. There's no silly questions. I'm here to help you guys out. You can also do the same thing down below on any of my YouTube videos on that comment section, and make sure you click that thumbs up if you like the videos. Guys, today we are going through our weekly setups. I've got a bunch of them. The daily setups, there are not that many. I've got the daily setup video out already. If you haven't watched it, you can go check that out. Um, the weekly swings, there is a bunch of them. I would be cautious on Tuesday coming back into the week, but we'll see what happens. Let's get started on this list. Okay. And we can start it off with Uber. So Uber on Thursday or, uh, two weeks ago had an inside bar. And this past week we had a two down that finished green. Okay. And then we finished it off with a hammer candle. Okay. So what we're looking for here is a rev strat, a one, two down, two up reversal okay so an in a one or an inside bar does not break the range of the previous candle and this was a two down it only passed the bottom of the previous candle but it finished green and we have a hammer candle which is a bullish pattern okay and when we look at this uh the hammer is basically it looks like a hammer it's got this body here with this long wick so what we're looking for here is a two down two up reversal so we're going to look for uber to go back to the upside okay these blue lines here are for the monthly range uh the monthly triggers but we are switching over on the monthly on wednesday okay so it's tough this this week again it's going to reopen on on tuesday this monthly is going to reopen on wednesday the quarterly and the yearly are red and you can see here we've tagged the bottom of this broadening formation on the weekly if i've zoomed out we've got a lower low to these lower lows and then this lower low here so we've gone lower low lower low higher high lower low higher high lower low let's see if we can take this thing back up if we go look at the monthly you can see on the monthly it's the same thing okay we had this inside bar uh in april and we went two down off of that inside bar tagged the broadening formation and you can look at the targets that we hit when we did that we hit this one here, this outside bar. Then we hit this one right here. Then we hit this inside bar target, okay? And that was it, okay? So now again, we're gonna look for this on the weekly. We've hit targets on the monthly already. We're gonna look for this weekly to come back up and hit targets at the top of this inside bar and the top of this two down bar right here. Okay, so that's Uber that we can watch for on Monday. Next up, we've got Lyft. 
Lyft has a 1-3 setup. <coughs> Excuse me. 1-3 uh, setup. And they don't... These are like the three ones. They don't happen very often. We've got an inside bar, which is a one bar. Doesn't break... Uh, doesn't break the range of the previous candle. And then we have this outside bar, which breaks the range of the previous candle. We have a higher high. We went higher than the previous high, and we went lower than the previous low. And if we go back in time and look, they tend to do really well also. So 1-3 setup, and we had this nice run down. Then we had a 1-3 setup and a really nice down, run down for two weeks. Okay, so powerful setups. I will tell you guys, when I play swings... Um, it's a little different than I, than I do my day trades. I get two weeks out on my weekly swings. Okay. And you can take, you can take in the money or at the money or just outside of the money. It's really up to you on these. Um, if I'm looking for this to go to the upside, do I think it's going to hit the top of this bar, this big red bar? No, I don't. I don't think we're, we're gaining 10 bucks or 50%, over 50%, um, next week but this is your first target here at uh 2070 off of this 2024 so you can look at taking that 20 dollar call or that 20 dollar and 50 cent call to the upside and then vice versa down to the downside so on this these pink lines these two pink lines not a baby these two pink lines here are our, our triggers for the weekly that's how i set them up and the yellow line is the trigger for the daily so Let's hop over to the daily on lift and take a look. And we've got this, we've hit the bottom of the broadening formation. So this is where we have a little bit of conflict. We are all red here. We're at the bottom of the broadening formation. We're looking if we're coming to hit back up to the top or are we coming to hit the bottom of this uh, outside broadening formation, the bigger one that we've got going right there. And I have to scan back quite a bit right there. Lower lows to the lower lows, not quite the lower lows there, okay? So what are we doing next week? How are we turning this thing? Which way is it going? I'm just going to zoom in here for you guys. So currently we have this two up red on the day, and we're going to look for this to trend down. So now when we go to the week and look at the weekly chart, we have that 1-3 setup on lift. So again... Are we going to break through this broadening formation to the high side and break through this trigger? Or are we working with this, breaking through the daily to the downside, hitting first targets, which is this green line, and then breaking through on the weekly to the downside? Okay, so we do have that time frame on the, on the quarterly and the yearly, which will stay red. Uh, the month is going to have a turnover possibly on on the Wednesday or it may just stay red. We'll see what happens. So we can take calls on lift at $20.24 or we can take puts at $16.33. If I was guessing, which we don't guess, but if I was, I would say this that lift is going to trend uh, downwards uh, this week, at least on Tuesday when we open up, okay? AMD. AMD has an inside bar and there are a bunch of inside bars on the weeklies this week so amd we have an inside bar inside bar like i said does not break the high or the low of the previous candle and it shows consolidation within the stock or the ticker which and when you think of an inside bar you should think of a spring becoming a spring getting tight and tight and tightened an inside bar is a tightening range okay it stays within the range of the previous candle it's tightening and when you think of a spring getting tightened and you release it what happens it explodes either to one side or the other, which is what we have on the inside bars. And you can see on this inside bar, on the week here, we had a nice break for that week, two weeks, three weeks, four, five. It just kept on running. This one here, this inside bar, we hit one target on that inside bar on that one. And they don't always work, guys, but probabilities tell us that, that it's, a, it's a strong move. Here was a double inside bar. And we had a really nice move. Here's another inside bar. Nice move to the upside, okay? So that is AMD. I think I said the calls. If I didn't, we can take calls at 102.26. Puts at $89.53. Netflix. 
Uh, Netflix has a, another inside bar. Not great magnitude to the upside or the downside, really, but we will look at it anyways. We have calls we could take at 195.17 or puts at 177.16 on Netflix. Nike is up next. Nike had a two down that finished green. Okay, so a two down breaks only the low side of the previous candle, but we did finish green, so we've got buyers here. What's going to happen next week? We'll find out. Um, we can look for calls on Nike at $116.12, and then we'll see what happens with the monthly. On Wednesday, we can go look at it. Uh, if Nike does trend up, we can possibly look for a 122 rev strat on the monthly, but we'll see that video on Tuesday night. Uh, I'll have that guy set up for you guys. Um, I'm sorry, we'll switch back to the weekly here. And there you go. Triggers at 116.12 to the upside on Nike. PLTR. Palantir has an outside bar. So we can look for calls on Palantir at $8.85. Puts at $7.38. Realistically here, we would be looking for a 2-3-2 reversal to the downside. The quarterly and the yearly are both red. If we go look to see where the monthly is sitting, we've hit the bottom of this broadening formation here. So we'll see where the month goes uh, next month for June. RBLX, that's Roblox, two down green with the hammer candle. Again, hammer candle just has this thick body up top with the wick on the bottom. Looks like a hammer. It is a bullish indication or a bullish pattern, bullish setup. Um, the week and the month are green, but again, these are going to open up on Tuesday and Wednesday, and we'll see how they turn out. We can look for first targets or first order of magnitude at the top of this wick right here, so at about 30, 36.30, and we can take calls at 32.11 on Roblox. ROKU, that's Roku, another hammer candle on Roku. So we can look for calls at 96.87. We've just been running the bottom of this broadening formation here, okay? Tag, tag, tag. We'll see if we can trend back to the upside on Roku on the weekly. SQ is square. Square, another hammer candle uh, and an inside outside bar. So a 1 3 setup. We talked about this previously on how they work. And uh, off of this 1.3, we had an inside bar. But off of that inside bar, we had a really, really nice run. So uh, if we go back to try and find another one, again, don't happen very often. Here it is. Let's see how this one ended up. Inside bar, outside bar, and a nice little run up hitting a couple targets on square. Okay. Uh, the trade desk has this really look at these long wicks on the on the uh, sell side here okay so we've got two down green i don't know if i'm going to call this a hammer candle but you've got looks like a hammer candle hammer candle hammer candle uh, i saw paul e2ro say there's a bag of hammer candles so we'll see we've tagged the bottom of this broadening formation for a while so we'll see how we turn up if we can run back up to the upside we can take calls at 52.97 off of here. First target's here at 55.10. Second target, third target, fourth target, or order of magnitude, whatever you want to call it, so on and so forth. UPST inside bar, followed by a two down that finished green hammer candle. This is what we call a rev strat. We're looking for a one, two down, two up reversal. Uh, we can take calls at $51.41 on UPST. Arc W, another 1 3 setup. Again, we've gone through these before. We can look at the broadening formation setup here. Okay, lower low, higher high, lower low, higher high, lower low. Then we have this 1 3 setup. Uh, we'll be looking for a 1 3 2 up, is what we're looking for. Okay, um, but again, we may trend down. That's why we have triggers on both sides. So we can take calls at $58.16 or puts at $49.76. Again, the way I do options, again, guys, I'll take calls on this if it triggers. And we can look for uh, a two-week expiry. 
and a strike price of our first target is 59.43 so i'm looking probably around 59 bucks if i'm taking calls and if i'm going to the downside with puts at 49.76 you can take your put at 49 bucks okay that's what i would be looking at on our w if we go to apple aapl has a quite a large inside bar so we can look for calls on Apple at 149.68, puts at 137.14 off the inside bar on Apple. Airbnb is up next. Airbnb, again, a two down green hammer candle. We'll look for calls on this one at $120.70. And again, guys, if you have questions on any of these, please leave them down below or just ask me on Twitter. Again, I will get back to you guys if you do have questions on, on how things work or, or what we're doing here with the Strat. Okay? So inside bar, we can take calls at 132.23 on Boeing or puts on Boeing at 117.29. BBY, that's Bed Bath & Beyond, two down, hammer candle again. We can look for calls on this one at $9.47. CAT usually has higher premiums and the spread isn't great, but we do have a 3-1 setup on CAT, which I do like. Uh, we can take calls on CAT at 217.63. Puts at 199.16. CCL, that's Carnival Cruise Lines, two down that finished green. Hammer Candle, okay, we're looking for calls at $13.96. We're coming back through this broadening formation. We'll see if we can trend higher. Also, looks like we have a uh, pivot machine gun here with these lower highs, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high, and then a hammer candle signal. So we'll see if this Carnival Cruise Line can come back up on a pivot machine gun. CL is Colgate Palmolive, has an inside bar, actually a 3-1 setup on Colgate. So we can take calls at 79.07, puts at 75.37. And again, we can go back in time and look at these 3-1 setups that we've had here previously on CL. There was one back here, and we just we trended down huge for one, two, three four, five, six weeks. Okay, and then we've got one more here where we had a 3-1 setup. And again, we had a really, really nice run down. Hit one, two targets, and a little bit more. Okay, so the 3-1 setups are rare, and they are powerful. There's a lot of strength to them. And we look for big runs when we, when we encounter them. And again, they're not foolproof. They don't always work, but probabilities tell us that this is a really nice setup for us to play off of, okay? CRM, two down green, hammer candle again. Uh, it looks like we have a little bit of, it's hopping around here. So we, it's choppy, we're coming down and we've got three bars within this same range. Uh, with this hammer candle and the bottom of this broadening formation, I would look for a run back to the upside. So we can take calls at 165.23. That broadening formation, just so you guys can see, is a lower low, here we go, higher high, lower low. Higher highs to lower lows. We'll see where the next uh, the next two is off of this. Sorry, I said it was a two down green. It is a inside bar, but my indicators, when the price level is the same on the lows or the highs, it should, doesn't paint it uh, as a yellow inside bar. So this low of this red candle and this low of this green candle are the same. We'll still consider that an inside bar. But let's see how this thing runs on, on Tuesday. Okay, so Cisco is up next. CSCO, Cisco, another 3-1 setup. Okay, and this is a pretty tight inside bar given the range of this outside bar. So we should have a nice move on Cisco uh, next week. So we can look for calls at 45.64, puts at 42.50 on Cisco. D-Dog is up next, and again... Here we have that same scenario, guys. We're trending down, 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 and we have this hammer candle. And again, we can go back and look. Two weeks ago, we had a hammer candle, but it still trended down. So we didn't trigger to the upside, so there was no play. If we trigger to the upside this week off of this uh, 98.19 trigger, then we can take this to the upside. But if there's no trigger, we are not getting in the play, okay? We only jump in on triggers and we try and take profit at targets or, you know, even guys, realistically, if you're in this range here and you've gained 30% in this market, I would look at trying to take your profit at that 30% and maybe leave some runners on if you have multiple contracts. Okay. 
Etsy is up next. Again, Etsy, the same thing. Two down green hammer candle. We can look for calls at 82.24 on Etsy. Home Depot, higher premiums, bigger spread between the bid and the ask. 3-1 uh, setup, though, so we can take calls at 308.50 or puts at 280.32. KDP, Keurig Dr. Pepper has a really tight inside bar here. So again, we can look for this to run as well to one side or the other off of the inside bar, off of the consolidation. We can look for calls at 35.87, puts at 34.72 off of Keurig Dr. Pepper. Coca-Cola, 3-1 setup, outside, uh, inside bar. So we can look for calls on this, and I know there's a lot of lines on here, and I'll show you why in a minute. Um, the pink lines are what we're looking at for the weeklies. So we can take calls at 65.10, Puts it 61.59. Okay, I have this little blue indicator tab that means I also have um, a setup on the daily, and that's what these yellow and green lines are. My yellow lines are my daily triggers. So it looks like we have an inside bar on the daily. Okay, so on this daily, if we break to the high side, we take calls at 64.83. Our first target is the trigger for the weekly. Okay, our trigger for the weekly to the downside is one, two, three, it's the fourth target to the downside, okay? So if we trigger to the upside on the weekly, we are, or on the daily, sorry, we are likely to trigger the weekly, okay? So we can look to play Coca-Cola long if we do that. Um, and then our first trigger for the daily is here, something you might wanna watch and maybe take some profits there. And then your second target uh, for the daily is the first target on the weekly. Makes sense. Hopefully, if it makes sense, give me a thumbs up down below. Does not take long. Okay, MGM Resorts, two down green. We can call this a hammer candle. We'll look for calls at 35.14. We've tagged the bottom of the broadening formation. You can see here we've got, uh, where do we go here? Lower lows to higher highs, lower lows, higher highs, lower lows. Where are we going? Are we going to continue down with MGM or are we going to come back up and start tagging the tops of those broadening formations? Hey, that's MGM. Monster, a couple things to look at here. We do have an inside bar. We also have a hammer candle. So, and we have been running just within the range of the top of this broadening formation here. Just tag, 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 tag. It's a trend line that we're running on. Okay, so let's see what happens on Monster next week. I'm not sure the premiums on this are great, but we can take calls on Monster at 89.71, puts at 86.38. Okay, that's on Monster. Next up, Moderna MRNA, outside bar hammer candle. We can look for calls at 148.54, puts at 126.28. Excuse me. That's on Moderna. NVAX. Uh, two down green hammer candle. We've seen a lot of these uh, this week on these week plays. So we can look for calls at 56.52. And as we look here, we've got a broadening formation, higher high to a lower low, to a higher high to a lower low. We haven't tagged this higher high yet. So is this hammer candle here our indicator that we are going to come back up and tag the top of this broadening formation? We will see next week, but we can take calls at 56.52 if we break that trigger. Okay, Procter & Gamble, ticker symbol PG, inside bar, calls at 148.72, puts at 142.08, and we have really nice magnitude to both sides for an opportunity for some profit on Procter & Gamble. SoFi Technologies, SoFi two down green, hammer candle, calls at $7.68 on SoFi. TGT is target, target two down green, Call that a hammer candle? Sure. And we can look for calls off of the trigger at 167.20 on target. Tesla Myesla, TSLA, Tesla two down green. And we can look for calls on Tesla at 759.80. The first target is not very high. The magnitude isn't great. 759 to looks like about 769, 770 in that range, okay, on Tesla. 
Walmart, Walmart inside bar. So we can take calls on Walmart at 128.62. Really high magnitude uh, to get to your first target here. So again, if we're dealing on the week and, and we're somewhere in this range on the first week, again, I would look at taking some profits. And we can look for puts on Walmart if it so happens that way. The quarterly and the yearly are red. Uh, so we can look for puts at 119.86 on Walmart. Guys, that's the weekly list. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Look for my top five weekly swing list. Um, that should be out already. If not, it will be out shortly. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, guys. Enjoy the trading week, and we will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.